What up, people? Coach V New Breed Boxing. No shortcuts, no guarantees. For some reason, still to this day, in the words of the great Deontay Wilder, to this day, <laughs> yo, I get people coming in the gym telling me, yo, I, I'm going to get a championship fight in the next year or two, man. I, yo, just give me a fight real quick. I refuse to stand by somebody who's volunteering to be a crash dummy, especially one that doesn't even know it. As a coach, in, in good faith, I could never lie to somebody. I get I hurt people's feelings all the time because they think they're just gonna walk into what is arguably the most difficult sport in the world and just take over. I don't know if it's all the Rocky movies. I don't know if it's the video games dude you're not gonna just walk in and billy madison your way to the top in a year or two it's impossible i am the most delusionally optimistic person in the world and i already knew from the jump that i wasn't gonna just run up in the in the gym and next thing you know be on pay-per-view it's not gonna happen if you're looking for easy quick money or whatever the case may be if that's what your agenda is go be a rapper or an actor or some other shit it's not happening in boxing. It's impossible. Think about it like this. The 10,000 hour theory. And I believe there's exceptions to the rule. Well, let's just start with that. 10,000 hours, two days and two hours a day, 365, no days off, right? It's like 13.6 years approximately, right? Let's just say you're an exception to the rule and you do it in half that time. You're training four hours a day. Right? That's still what? Like six years and change, right? That's just to get the skill set. That's not including learning, you know, doing the conditioning, the body hardening, dealing with the mental, physical, and spiritual stress of getting beat up, straight up. Like even the guys that you see on TV that you say, oh, he's trash, he's a paper champ. Guarantee you, he came back from ass whoopings that would make any the, the average person quit on site. They would just be like, fuck this, I'm out of this. This sport is way too hard. Because the thing about boxing that a lot of people don't realize until so they're in that situation, I, like I said, I cannot tell you how many people that they, they swore to me, yo, don't be in there with anybody. I don't care who it is. That sounds really cool until you're in there with anybody and that anybody put your, your face in the ground. <laughs> I don't care who you are. If you haven't put in a certain amount of time and I throw you in there with somebody that's a super experienced, skilled fighter, they're gonna make such short work of you, you're gonna have an identity crisis for the rest of your life, straight up. So don't do it to yourself. Put that time in, think about it, 10,000 hours. I mean, you know, even if you don't do the whole 10,000, I mean, listen, Freaking Mozart, when he was writing his shit, his music, right? When he was at hour 2000, I bet you his music was trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. And then he probably didn't start getting nice until he was about five, 6,000 hours into it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're not gonna be good until you have that 10,000. I'm just saying you're not gonna be a world beater, top tier guy until you get to that level of experience. You gotta deal with certain trials and tribulations that test you mentally, physically, and spiritually. See, that's the thing about it. It's not just about learning. It's also about getting tested. And if you were just to be an uh, aspiring musician, let's just say, that doesn't come with all the baggage that boxing comes with. The physical punishment, the damage, some of it's permanent lifelong damage that you're gonna deal with. You know, there's a lot of dudes walking around there that thought they were just gonna walk up in the gym that now they're permanently blind in one eye, or they got brain damage, or they got a, you know, some other disability now. Boxing is merciless, man. It's not just something that you could walk into, man. Like I said, I don't know if people just look at the gloves and they think, you know, you know, you just get punched in the face all day and nothing happens. Take it from me. And millions of other people that found out the hard way. If you want to really be a top dog in this sport, you gotta have the trifecta. You gotta have the time in. You gotta have the right guidance, cause that's another thing. You could put 10,000 hours in with the wrong dude that really, from in the game, you know, there's nobody that's a master of everything. I don't care what anybody tells you. But you might even outgrow a coach and then now you're back on a mission looking for a new coach. Cause it, on levels one through 10, he can only take you to level three. Cause he never been past that. 
or he don't even want to take you. He's not even willing to ride it out with you. So you got to have the time in, the right guidance, and on top of that, you have the right connections. Because I know guys that are great fighters that could never get a big money fight on pay-per-view because they're blackballed from the game because they don't got the right connections. Maybe they don't got the right look or they're just not easy to work with. And they're just never going to get a big break. And they're the most talented fighters. I'm telling you, I guarantee you, there's guys out there that are way better than some of these dudes you see that have great marketing machines behind them and great promoters. But maybe, you know, whatever the case is, they're just not as marketable as other people. So you're never going to hear about them. And it's, it's sad, but it's true and it's unfair. So again, no shortcuts, no guarantees. Put that 10,000 hours in or at least 5,000 before you really start taking, you know, a fight career serious. And, you know, if you can withstand all that, then you deserve to be there. That's how I see it, man. So anyway, I hope you found this informative. Like, subscribe, comment, share, go hit that notification bell. We about to hit 9,000 subscribers today, moving right along smoothly. Um, and put some ideas in the comment section. I got a whole list of videos I already got written out, but sometimes you guys come up with some great questions. So if you got any good questions, man, put it in the comment section and I'll cut you ahead of the list, man. Till the next time we up out of here. Ow.